you know what, after taking a little break to compose myself after the events of our first time playing this game, I decided maybe we want to change from the desert, although I do love the desert, and maybe I want to pop into it one more time to go investigate that forest I saw. However, I think it's okay to start over. New game. Okay, where do we want to go? I've actually seen this place before because one time I tested this game, I just landed on the planet and walked around a little bit <laughs> on the fields one. I like the desert, but I think this one is in between the desert and the forest, and it might work really well for me. So let's just see what it says. The textbook example of a fat or fist. The textbook example of a Fissit approved building location with a balanced resource space and distances. Additionally, it is very close to the sea, making water an easy economy. I'm thinking we'll do that. Oh, and I love the ocean. I forgot how much I love the ocean. That used to be one of my favorite things. I had this, like, one dream of, like, this... I used to have dreams of the ocean and, like, walking around on the beaches and stuff of, like, this fantasy version of it. And, like... When I played PlayStation Home, there was this beach level I went to. I loved that, too. There's there's just something special about it. I like this. I, I, I know there's a lot of people that like the ocean. And I'm not the only one. Sorry about that. My cat was annoying. I know a lot of people like the ocean. I'm not the only one. But I have a very, like, special connection with the ocean. And what I mean by that is there's... there's whenever I think about the o ocean, there's, like, this weird fantasy version of it that I've dreamt and, like, kind of created in my mind. That, like, to put it into perspective, only, basically, it's only right here in my head. So no one else has seen this version of the ocean that I've seen, right? Because my I just, like, kind of created it in my head. And I think about that, and I just absolutely love it. There is one, one movie I saw one time that was really close to it. And when I seen that, it was just, I, I was just like, what? It almost brought tears to my eyes. I was just like, how did whoever made that? That's just crazy. But anyways... Let's get started. We'll call it Sub Oceanon because it's my third one. Sub Oceanon Mark Three. We'll keep the intro in. I like the intro. Let's land on this planet because it gives me a nice view of everything as we land. So let's get started. This. Well, maybe I should name the video that's going to be before this one the prologue, and then this one will be part one. I kind of like starting on a new planet. I think this will be fun. I think I think this was the right choice. That random generator gave me desert every time. I'm happy I seen it. I I think it was worth it because it would have been stuck in my mind the whole time. Now that I've seen it, I'm, I feel more free. Summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars that that play to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. On. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Whoa. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. I love you, my boy. Oh. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines oh through automation and augmentation. Oh That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full Ouch. procedure. Atmospheric entry in five. Oh, four, atmospheric three, entry. Here we go. Two, one. Planet fall procedure then all of a sudden it should just appear everything, which is I always thought was kind of weird, but I'm excited. Here we go. I love I love just seeing the planet right here. I don't know if skipping the intro would just make you crash land sooner, but I think leaving it in is fine. It just adds to it. What if this is how Lethal Company started on each world? That'd be interesting. I know I should be seeing stuff. <gasps> oh. Immediately. Immediately a certain memory hit when I seen that for a second. I'll explain it once we land so it's not so loud. That is such a good memory. What? My goodness. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Suit? 
so there was a game on PS3 that I played. It might have been on other things, but I played it on PS3 called Free Realms. It was like an MMO RPG, something like that. It was kind of like PlayStation Home a little bit. You can build your own bases and stuff like that. And I had a shut up. And on Free Realms, you could buy like horses and dogs and animals and stuff like that with real money, or like places that are little sandboxes for you to build. I got one of the open world flat ones. I had a few on there, but this is the main one I can think of. Also, I need my pillow real quick so my arm doesn't hurt. And so, one of the bases I built is when you built when you played the game. Your character's max level is 30. I played as a ninja and one time a warlock, but I had the most stuff on the ninja. Hold on, I really need to get this propped up properly. And I had a little flat world base that I had. And you could get, like, these, like, Minecraft square blocks, chairs, like, little wood chairs, and this all kinds of furniture items, all these random ones. And I bought a bunch of the cubes because they were cheap. And I just kind of stacked them up. And it it, there was no, like, balancing system to the game. But if you were to build something, it had to be on top of another. And so I did a few cubes. I threw a chair, a statula, and it just kind of slowly zigged up higher and higher in the game, just stacking everything. And there was even, like, three soda cans that you had to climb that were over a little more. And then, like, it circled up all the way to this huge base I built up in the sky. It was awesome. And this has gave me memories of that whole game and some of the bases I built, which was just awesome. Oh, what is that in the sky? I thought that was like a base or something. Honestly, I think this was the go-to. This looks nice. It's flat here. These are the flatlands. Um, we're not going to have some of the items that I got before. It's okay. We don't need to hear this a second time. Oops. So, I feel like the best thing we can do right now is try to catch up to where we left off before. Grab all the resources we can. Whoops. Grab as much plant matter as humanly possible as well. And just kind of try to fill my inventory up. Now, I don't know what these things do. It was the last time I wasn't able to get them. Let's, let's see. Edibles we have detected okay. In vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by our... Okay, so it's like a healing item. A okay. research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So MAM. I don't know what the MAM means. Now, let's listen to the power slug thing, so I didn't understand that before. This slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Note, according to... Okay, I understand, I understand. Sorry, that keeps distracting me when she talks. So yeah, let's make sure we have our... Whoops. Our weapon equipped. Inventory, please. Okay, none of those were inventory. And there's two of them. I could build right up here where it's nice and flat. That's right. Now, do they get back up or is it dead now? Oh, they, they just ragdolled. Dang it, That's that sucks. But we got two iron nodes down there. That doesn't seem like it would be that bad if I built this close to it. Or I could even build down there. But I feel like right up here would be a nice spot for the base and everything. But climbing up and down would be annoying. Are those... Those are both copper, I believe. I believe that's both copper. I'm happy I didn't build here then. Okay, so we know where two coppers are. That's something. There's a bunch of iron on the map, though. Whoops. I'm not seeing any wood anywhere, but I've never had to use wood yet, so there is that. There's no ocean over here. I thought it said this was close to the ocean, not the drop-off massacre cliffside. <laughs> you wanna go, huh? From the drop huh? Will be huh? You want some smoke? Want some Caution. smoke? Into Stop for a second, see what happens. Open terrain, Snake! The presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. That's what I thought. The There's another one right there. Is this copper iron too? Look out, look at the resources right there. They're up here and then we know where the other one is. This looks like a perfect spot to build. Imagine I died of fall damage right there. This is iron. Iron. 
Are they all iron? Iron. Iron. I mean, if I ever need iron, oh boy, I, this is packed. It was my favorite animal when I was growing up, or monkeys. Then I realized how mean and disgusting they are. Then I don't really like them no more. I like cartoon monkeys like Curious George and like the Tropics monkey. But now my favorite animal are birds. In particular, small little fat birds. Like little, just like ones that are nice and round. Like a rob, like a, a robin, but like a little older one that's like circular and small. I don't know. There's a certain bird that's like that. I like those birds. Wire? 204 wire! Yo! Over here is really nice. So this is just right over the valley that I kind of want to build down at. Oh, I don't want to die here. This would be a real shame. I don't know if this is worth it.